So first tip on how to stop quitting. Hi, Massimo here. And yes, we start with the tips about how not to quit. Okay. Uh, as I already explained in one of my videos where I had a walk, I think a 43 minutes walk, okay, to keep myself healthy, I explained that the journey that time I started already is to find all the reasons why people quit and then the solutions so that I can help people to stop quitting. In this way I will make so that um, everyone can be helped okay, uh, with what they are already doing without having to quit what they are doing just in order to follow what I can offer. Okay? Because as I explained it in that video um, what I'm doing is to find solutions so that people do not quit, carry on on their own path, the path that they chose, okay, and in this way they can be successful. And if they want, they can take my services, uh, we, which will be uh, something that something that they can find useful while doing what they are already doing okay but not with that trick that many uh, online online uh, business owners or entrepreneurs especially in cryptocurrency and so on and so forth say okay you can just do what you're already doing you can do what I do what I am proposing to you and at the same time you can carry on with what you're doing because normally what happens is that we don't have enough time okay to do something other and this is a kind of like of trick to make so that you switch from what you're doing to their offer and it hence it happened to me it hence that you spend the majority of the time learning what they have to teach to you and stopping doing what you were doing which was your purpose what you love it to do okay so basically this is really the truth what i'm going to do is let me change the place the position Okay, let me change here. What I am going to do is really to find a way to make so that you guys stop quitting and carry on having success in what you are already doing. Okay, because I understood this is a great, great point where people fail. Okay, fail, they fail, people fail in not quitting. So they quit and they fail. Okay, basically, so what is the main reason? I mean, not the main reason, yeah, the main reason. The main reason why people quit. At least this, this is the reason that I found out by myself when I was 13 years old and I found out that it is a common issue that people uh, always have. So, what is the main reason why people quit? So, the main reason why people quit is that they find someone or more than someone who uh, is or are opposing their own effort to reach their goals okay so what it, it happens is that these people one person two persons a group of person okay just put a counter emotion or even a counter effort I mean they, they, they are angry with you or they are sarcastic okay they are poisoning you okay with the, what they say and the motion that they that they transmit to you that they throw on you okay uh, or even telling forcing you not to do some things making so that they uh, stop you um, on doing what you were doing giving you orders to do something other or giving you orders direct orders to not to do what you are currently doing okay so basically this is the main reason and this is very 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 powerful a powerful stop because most of the times not always but most of the times what happens is that these kind of people are people that we love people that for us they are our opinion leader we think and we 
we, we, we think that their opinion is very valuable okay and most of the time it is sometimes or quite often it is because they want to protect us uh, sometimes it is because they are jealous of what we are doing and the results that we are getting or if you are not getting such results uh, what is happening is that, that we are just reminding them when they were trying to get those results and fail it so what happens is that you are uh, make so that those that discomfort that sadness for their failure comes back in their mind and they don't want to just listening and watching you sometimes you don't even need to speak about what you're doing they see what you do and they feel that the, these bad feelings this sadness this frustration this anger for failing in the past uh, about doing what you are doing or something similar that you were doing okay this makes so that they feel really really bad so they start stopping you so for these reasons and and there are also other reasons so basically what happens is that um, they don't want to feel that bad and then what they identify you more or less like the reason why they're feeling bad so they start making you feeling bad so what is the thing that you can do practically to solve this this specific specific aspect of quitting okay having people who surround being surrounded from people that is stopping you in one way or the other uh, the practical drill that you can do is that you can make a list of all the people that you first make a list of all the people that you know okay okay and this is the first column then the second column is uh, the question on top there is the question how do I feel when I speak with this peop with this person question mark and then you start writing uh, you can do you can write good bad good good bad john good mary good tom bad um jeffrey good so so um and then um uh joseph bad and so on and so forth so you have a list of people and how do you feel when you speak with them okay so the first thing that you do then after you make this list with this good bad good good bad good bad um, um, uh, notations notes sorry notes near each name is then to write down the list of people who makes you feeling good when you speak with them and the list of people who then making feeling you bad when you speak with them okay in this way what you do next you start spending more time with the people who makes you feeling good so of course you will have less time to spend with people who makes you feeling bad okay let me change the hand okay this is quite simple in this way you don't have to stop and try and force yourself not to speak with people making you feeling bad because you are already doing the first action which is start speaking with pe more with people who make you feeling good and this is the first practical drill that you can do then we can do a step further step further is what well, what if I don't have people who makes me feeling good when I speak with them or I don't have enough people who makes me feeling good when I speak with them <laughs> What you can do basically is to search for more people. Go into that neighbor, uh, go outside if you can go outside, new new people, or start new new people on Facebook, Instagram, whatever wherever you are on such platforms. What you can do is you can. This is the second step. After you do the first step, first do the first step. List names. How do I feel when I when I speak with these people? Good back, good back. Then extract the list of people who make you feeling bad 
and the list of people who make is making you feeling good and you start speaking and spend more time with people who is making you feeling good more than bad okay so uh, um, this that, that does this make sense if it makes sense please comment below yes it makes sense spending more time with people who makes you feeling good makes sense okay then the second the second level okay is that you search for more people who make you feeling good how do you find them if you you can go outside speak with people new people and so on and so forth and you notice how you feel when you speak with them and then you discard the people making you feeling bad and you start adding as friends real friends people who is who makes so that you feel good okay or you can do this on social media you go and search for motivators profiles successful people profiles okay and then you will see that there are, they have followers and these followers are people who are like-minded who are trying to better themselves and so on and so forth okay and you can start adding them in your friend list and start knowing them on, on, on Facebook on Instagram whatever okay in this way you are adding more people who is like-minded okay and having things in common trying to better your financial situation and their financial situation try to to better their personal situation relationships and so on they are like-minded so they will support you on your journey on what you are already doing you will with you will feel empowered and you will not you will start having less reasons and and huge impulses to quit this is solution for this problem okay be quitting because being surrounded surrounded from people negative people okay for this single uh, problem this is the solution so the first level the list and the second level search for more to make you feel good okay so does it make sense if it makes sense just comment below and tell yes it makes sense clearly of course <laughs> it's something that we already know i'm giving you the practical steps to do this okay excellent so what is happening now if you want to know more about this topic this specific topic about quitting because you are surrounded surrounded from negative people just comment below ask for more information ask questions if you have specific questions okay and i will be happy to answer to you okay you can also send me private private message and so on and so forth to know more about it and to learn more about how to stop quitting okay i can also coach you on this okay so thank you for your time i hope you enjoyed this and you found this very useful and as i always say this is my motto now for quite a while for quite a while remember that there is always something to learn and a lot to learn see you next time ciao